What's going on guys, Andrew Pillock Hockey here, back again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about something that I didn't think we were going to ever be talking about on this channel, and that's the cover of a video game. Austin Matthews is the NHL 22 cover athlete. Now, you're probably seeing that jersey in the background and thinking this is just a leaf homer, he's going to just praise it up, whatever. No, we're going to be talking about the marketing and the business side of this, okay? Because I think that there's a lot of people that understand what's going on with these covers and with these big businesses. It's unfortunate for a fan that just wants to see more players on the cover or people that you wouldn't expect to be on the cover. But let me just tell you guys throughout this video, I'm going to be explaining an unbiased, even though I'm a Leaf fan, I'm going to be giving you guys an unbiased opinion because of the marketing and the the structure of what they're trying to do in terms of getting people to just buy the game in general. So if you are new here, I do talk about the Toronto Maple Leafs pretty much exclusively on this channel. I do dive into a lot of different teams and stuff like that when it has to do with the Maple Leafs. Um, I might be doing a all NHL podcast very soon that will be on this channel or somewhere else. Let me know what you guys think. But if you are new here, make sure to like this video and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Join the squad. We have over 10,000 people on here. 20, uh, sorry, 20. We have 10.5K subscribers. And I know there's a lot of people that watch these videos that aren't subscribed. It's completely free. Like this video and subscribe. I would appreciate it, but let's get in to the video. So again, like I said, you guys could probably see in the title, you've seen it all over social media. I'm not breaking any news. You've seen it in the thumbnail. Austin Matthews taping a stick or, you know, him exiting the tunnel um, at the, probably the Scotiabank Arena in Toronto. Austin Matthews is on the cover. Now, I believe he was on NHL 19 or 20. I haven't played the game um, in over a year. I haven't been playing a lot of video games at all. Uh, will I buy this game? Probably not. Uh, maybe if it's on sale, I don't know. But I probably won't be buying the game. I just don't play video games that much anymore. My PlayStation is basically for Netflix and YouTube at this point. I just go I go to work and I come home, I make videos and I go to sleep. That's That's unfortunately what I do most of the time. But Austin Matthews being on the cover again sucks for the fan that wants to see a different guy on there. I was expecting Panarin or I was expecting David Pasternak. Those were the two guys that I thought could be on the cover. Um, every year, there's always people saying, where's Sidney Crosby? He's made it very vocal that he wants kids to play outside. He doesn't want to be on the cover of the video game because that's not what he represents. And as far as I know, that's why he's not on the cover. Um, but Austin Matthews is a marketable star in this league right now. If you look at you know GQ and like what's in what's in Austin Matthews bag and like going on these you know television programs or Instagram or anything like that Austin Matthews is usually one of the people that the NHL promotes and there's also people outside of the NHL that are using Austin Matthews to promote a product or to you know promote a magazine cover or anything like that the unfortunate part about any business or anything that you're interested in is that it's that. It's a business. It's it's about marketing. It's about making money. Keep that in mind. Making money. Now, let me ask you this, okay? Let's say you live in Toronto or you are promoting a video game, okay? And most of your clientele is coming from a specific place. And you know it's the biggest fan base. You know it's the biggest, you know popularity wise everything like that and you know that if you you put somebody on the cover or if you promote somebody for your game in a trailer or something like that you know it's going to work you know it's going to make money but you're trying to you're like you know what let's forget the money let's forget the the retweets and let's forget the the shares and all that stuff like that on Facebook let's let's forget about that and let's just put this random guy on the cover let's just put this guy Let's put Panarin on there. Let's put Pasternak. And I don't mean to say random. Let's put somebody else. Not random. Let's put somebody else. That it might not sell as much. It might not drive as much traffic. But let's put that player on there. No. No company is ever thinking that. If they're doing it, it's only for good PR. And that's the unfortunate truth. Austin Matthews is marketable. Austin Matthews comes from the Toronto Maple Leafs. And whether or not you like the Toronto Maple Leafs, you can hate them. You could, you could like them, you could love them, whatever. You have to understand that the Toronto Maple Leafs hold not just money, because it. I don't think that has to come into play here. I don't think they're paying to have Matthews on the cover. But they hold a very large fan base in the entirety of 
North America and wherever else. The Toronto Maple Leafs are a very popular franchise. The NHL is going into this next generation. They want to have more people come on. We have like special advisors from the NHL, that TikToker kid that's now part of the 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 branding media part whatever they have all these different things they've they're they're getting involved in esports they're trying to bring in that youthful younger crew and they're trying to bring in more people that might have seen austin matthews on a gq um video or a magazine or an instagram post or on his rollerblade thing they're trying to bring in that group the the group of people that are kind of on the fence they're trying to bring those people in Give me your seventy nine ninety nine Canadian. That's how much it costs, or however much it costs wherever you live. They want your money. When you have lots of people that are supporting a team or a player, like the the backing that Austin Matthews has, has there you're gonna pour the money into that. That's like going. Listen, let's just use this, okay? Major League Baseball, right? When they need to promote something, they're going to put Mike Trout on the cover of it, right? They're going to put Mike Trout on on anything that they can or Shohei Otani or any of their big name stars. They're going to put those. The next generation, Tatis, Guerrero Jr., Acuna, whatever. They're going to put those guys on covers. They're going to put them everywhere, blast them everywhere. That's why you see the consistent posts of those guys. Tatis is all over Instagram, Twitter, wherever it is. They're not going to post a random player that's that's only been there for like a year and and has a decent batting average or whatever they're not going to do that they're going to promote their stars they're going to promote the new youthful guys that are flipping bats way into the air that's the guys that they promote so in the NHL Austin Matthews does you know like I said outside of just hockey he's doing stuff other places so they're bringing in those people they're bringing in the young crowd and they want to be the new generation right? They want to bring in as much people as they can from TikTok, wherever it is. They want that audience because it's money. Austin Matthews equals money. Toronto Maple Leafs equals money. If you love them or hate them, they equal money. It's dollar signs. It's marketing. That's exactly what it is. And by the way, I mean, I don't think most people give a crap about the cover, okay? I'm making this video basically just to give my opinion. I had to get it off my chest and I didn't want to tweet 40 times. Okay, I think this is hilarious. Um, if you're buying just for the cover, I mean, people make custom covers all the time. Just print off a different one and put it there uh, if, if you want to go that far. There's been tons of covers that when I used to buy these games every year that I thought, I don't care about this cover. I I'm trying to play the game. <laughs> I don't care about who's on the cover. Listen, there's people that if they would have put like John Scott or any of these guys on the cover, people are still going to buy it because they want to play the damn game. That's it. They don't care. They could have put Tom Wilson on the cover of this game and people would still buy it. Why? Because they're going to play the damn game. That's all they care about. They want people to buy it. So Austin Matthews on the cover. Who cares? It's... I have to make this video because it's it's about marketing. It's literally about marketing. That's all it has to do with. They want they want to feed into the to the very popular audience. Like guys, next year, don't be surprised if McDavid's on the cover again, right? That's what's gonna happen. McDavid, or it's gonna be another marketable star. Like if if a young player this year has another really successful season, they're gonna put that guy on the cover. That's just what happens. They want to market to the audience that has a large fan base they know will spend a lot of money it's like going into an apple store they're not going to promote those 20 dollars headphones they're promoting an iphone or an ipad they, they don't care about these these little accessory things because you're going to go and grab those things later down the line who cares they're not the top sellers if, if in a grocery store, the top seller is chicken, you're not going to put bananas there. It's 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 going to be the top seller. And when you're trying to promote something, you have to put the thing that works consistently. And whether the Leafs are there, they suck at hockey in the playoffs, whatever they do, they sell. People buy into it. And they also know the people that hate it are going to retweet it and talk about it, which means more people are going to see it. And more people are going to buy it. 
It's marketing, it's business. If you are new to this channel, make sure to like this video and subscribe. I can't believe I spent 10, 10 minutes. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I appreciate you guys. Love and appreciate you guys as always. Austin Matthews, cover star again. Maybe NHL 23, Mitch Marner. No, I'm just kidding. Peace.